everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The sun's come out today, it's been a beautiful morning. I've just finished cleaning windows and I'm gonna have a lovely shave. Now I wanted to use, I was gonna use some menthol, but I picked this one up, I didn't use it that long ago, but I really enjoyed it. And it was Mike's Natural Soaps and it's lime. And the scent on this, scent strength is around about a three to a four. The actual scent itself is just spot on. It smells like real limes and that's what it's very similar to castle forbes lime it's um, it's just it's like the real lime juice it's not a, an artificial lime like a lime scented sweet so yeah it's just lovely and i did have a good experience with it when i used it so let's see how we go today with it i have been shaving every day of late and with every shave that i do they all go on the channel so you don't have to watch them I know a lot of you guys out there watch just for the bullshit <laughs> which with me is always a good fair bit of bullshit but my hair is growing for some reason a little bit faster at the moment I don't know whether it's the warmer weather that's on its way I don't know a bit like, a bit like the dogs lose it all in the winter at the start of the winter and then lose it all at the start of the summer so here we go straight in with the sorry the Simulg 2012 Special edition, limited edition, can't remember. This one's a boja, so it's 50% boa, 50% badger. It's the same knot that was placed into the Simulg Caravella brush, which is a very highly sought after, very difficult to get a hold of brush. So it's the same knot in this one. I'm just going to dip my tips because it's a little bit dry. Now this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a, does it actually say, do you know something, it doesn't actually say how much weight of soap is in this tub, but I would say it's a good five five to six ounces maybe a 5.8 ounce a lot of weight in this tub it's quite a firm soap so it's going to last a long time as well which is good oh yeah if i remember correctly a pretty good slickness but it was the post shave which was good with this one as well i know a lot i mean most guys including myself post shave from a soap is sort of irrelevant because i always pop on a splash or a and a moisturiser or which is I always use something post shave to moisturise my skin and put some moisture back in but there is certain soaps like this one when you use it you feel like you get that moisture put back in and out from the soap itself so you could probably get away with no sort of real post shave routine right I'm just going to stick at it with that I don't know whether I've got enough in the brush for three passes or not I have had issues with this brush in the past trying to get enough lather out of it but we shall see how we go I'll just be going for three passes today. It's a warm water shave. I haven't quite transitioned into cold water again for the summer. But I will get there eventually and then it'll just be cold water every day. I do find with the cold water shaves that I get a lot less irritation as well. So technically you'll be shouting at the screen saying, well, why the frick are you using warm water? I don't really know. That's it painted on, let's just dip some water. Now this brush still hasn't completely broken in yet. But from the first day that I got it to now, it's a huge difference on the quality of feel on the skin. very very scritchy when I first got it. This needs lots more water. But that scritch is pretty much gone now. And what I'm left with now is a lot of scrub. Very light scritch. For those of you out there that don't know what scritch is, I think I'm talking shit. Scritch is basically the prickly feeling you get from the tips of the hairs, the tips of the fibres. Doesn't necessarily need to be a bore brush or a badger or a synthetic, just whatever brush. Some brushes have it, some brushes don't. Some guys like it, some guys don't. I don't particularly like it. I don't mind a little bit like this now. I can handle this quite comfortably. But first off, when I got this brush, there was no way I could have used it every day if it stayed like that. So this lather is building up beautifully. I'm just going to keep adding water, probably maybe two or three more dips. So 
it's going to take a little bit longer because I did overload the brush, the load the brush pretty heavy. Taste the lime from a soap, which is always good if it tastes good. Rockwell 6C, I've got it on plate two. You won't, see, well, you might see it on the camera, I never know because it doesn't focus the face time camera on the iPhones. And here we go, face two with the grain. Face two, plate two. Now, plate two. It's very mild very mild plate one in the rockwell is almost a non-existent plate it shouldn't even be it shouldn't even be there it's uh, completely in my opinion completely useless if you're using plate plate one i'd be very surprised but there, but there might be people out there that do use it I normally stick to plate three. Three. Plate three. Plate three. Th three. Which is a, a happy medium, really. I just thought I'd give plate two a try today just to see what it feels like. And I have got the same Gillette Ruby blade in. This razor that I had the last time, I've got rubies running right through most of my razors at the moment. And I've got none left. So sadly, when they're done, they're done until I can afford to pick up a set of hundred. Because I will be buying a full pack of these things. These are just outstanding blades for me. They work in every single razor that I own, so can't really shoot that down. Oh, nice scent of lime there. Like I say, it's not a super strong scent, but it's nice. You do, you do smell it every now and then. I can smell it right now, which is good, considering I've had it on my face for a while now. Right. This is what I mean with natural hair brushes. Not all natural hair brushes, because I find it happens more with anything with bore in it. But this lather is still lovely. 
but as you can see it's a lot thinner now. Now I don't regard myself as a, a brilliant ladderer, but I would say that I'm competent and I'm reasonably good at it. It doesn't matter what I do with this brush a lot of the time. Sometimes it works perfectly. Maybe the amount of soap that I put into it, sometimes I struggle with it. Today it looks like I might have struggled straight on the third ladder. I mean, I suppose at the end of the day, for your third ladder, third ladder up, you don't really need a voluminous ladder. You just need the slickness and the, the glide. Shades are clearly rolling into one. I'm losing my mind, I think. It does give a lovely feedback there, the 6C. For such a sturdy heavyweight razor. I mean, this is a heavy, heavy old razor in the hand, even though it's not stainless steel. Whatever metal they've used or whatever composite they've used to actually create this razor, there's a lot of weight in it. I haven't weighed it, but obviously the stats will be online, but you have a look. Right, so let's see how we go with lather number three. So the brush still looks like it's got loads of lather in it, but for some reason, when I get to this stage a lot of the time, now oh, this one actually feels pretty good this time. I can still feel the, the thickness of the soap actually in the depth of the bristles. But then again. Now what I mean is normally if I'm using a synthetic the first ladder, the actual initial ladder that you do, so you can see there's not much happening in here now. The first ladder, I'm just going to dip the tips and see what happens. It's always very similar. In terms of being voluminous and thick and creamy. get to that second ladder it starts dissipating with an actual hair brush with a synthetic it doesn't it never ever dissipates with a synthetic brush I never have this issue on a third ladder with a synthetic and you can tell me that I'm full of shit and that synthetics are, aren't as good as badger or boar or natural hair brushes I don't think it's about being better, I think it's about being a more, it's a more efficient brush. You use less soap, you get better lathers in my opinion. And people keep saying, well, it's because you don't know how to lather. It's because you're not, you're not used to using natural hair brushes. I've been using natural hair brushes now for quite a while. High-end badges, good quality badges, silver tips, Manchurian whites. Blonde Badger, Bojas. I've had some old owners clubs in the past and I've never had any of them lather as good as synthetic. No matter, every now and then I'll get a, I'll strike it rich and I'll, I'll just get a little nick down there I think and I'll just get it and I'll nail it and it'll work. And yeah, that'll probably be down to user error for the rest of them. But that there is really wishy washy lather. What I should really be doing is going back to the puck and grabbing some more. But The way I see it is if you can't get a full three passes out, 
that will get really comfortable passes here because the slickness is beautiful. I mean at the end of the day it doesn't impact your shave when you're using a quality product like this at all it's just the enjoyment factor of it for me I like to still play around with the ladder a little bit on the second and third coats Now that was a lovely shave, all up, from the soap to the razor and even including the brush, even though the ladder wasn't the best in the end, it was still more than enough to complete a beautiful shave. Right, just get the, get the lime rinse and the brush out now, that's not, that's not my way. Stick something on my face first. I don't know why. I think I'll be doing things a little bit different every now and then. I'll just throw out the rest of my day. Oh, Humphreys. This is just the original witch hazel, it's just witch hazel normally. And what I've done is I've added, as you can see on the top, floating about, some lime essential oil. Once I give that a good shake, you can see the sort of greenish tinge, sort of tinge through the witch hazel now. And it's not a super strong scent that I've got in there of, of lime essential oil now because the, the witch hazel that comes with Humphreys is really strongly scented and it smells like, oh, I know I've said it before if you haven't heard me say it before, it smells like um, it smells like smoky bacon <laughs> so I had to really think about that there, my mind's not in it okay so while that is drying in I'll just rinse the soap off now Now, one thing I don't like about Mike's soaps is his front label as much as I like the... Alright, I'm back. That was the wife phoning, so I'm heading down there to pick them up. They've cycled down to Bunnings, which is our local sort of hardware store where you get wood and tools and gardening stuff and all that so the cycle down there my youngest max who's only seven decided that he wanted to run so it's a fair old run and apparently he ran the full wage he loves running so good on him for that he's a he's really good through he's, he's only seven but he's going through a health a health kick a fitness kick at the moment he does his press ups at night press ups in the morning and does sit ups and everything now so we haven't asked him i told him how to do them or what to do but he's got to the point now i think he does 16 push-ups at night he's only seven not much of them but 16 push-ups for his age and the good quality push-ups are not your bent back and on your knees stuff it's full push-ups from nose to the floor and back up again straight up so he's, he's sort of impressed us with that sort of stuff 
And right, well, I don't even know where I was, what I was talking about. Soap, was I talking about the soap? I was talking about the label. The labels look great. I think it's brilliant. It reminds me a lot of like a, my next door neighbour used to be a deer, well, not used to, he's still a deer stalker back in the UK. So he's out and shoots deer, that's, that's his living. And all of his stuff, for some reason, this brings back memories of all his, like his, his wellies, or his, I don't know what you call them, Wellington boots, do you call them in, in the other places? I just call them wellies. If it wasn't for your wellies, where would you be? And it just reminds me of all the sort of clothes and the gear he used to wear, he used to have the duck call and all that, and it, it's, that just reminds me of that. But the problem with this label is, it's just normal paper, it's, it's absorbent, and that annoys me. I've had water on it already, and I don't know whether this, whether the duck's head, they can see it's a bit, I don't know whether that's water that's faded that away, but I've had water on here, and it's dried in fine. So in that regard, it's all right. Now underneath here, that label is waterproof, but there's no, it doesn't tell you how much is on it, but there's, I mean, the ingredients, I'll just I'll hold that up, see if you can see them. I don't know whether you see the ingredients or not. The ingredients are pretty much impeccable. Oh, it smells great. The brush today was the, Simulg Owners Club Special Edition I think it's a Special Edition 2012 So it's Boar and Badger that's in this one And it's a stunning little brush, it really is And it's starting to open up now, the bloom's starting to come out All the tips are starting to split and It's just it's a lovely, lovely brush, get a good bit of wiggy But I do like, I'm not a fan of wood And a lot of Simulg brushes, the good quality, like the Simulg Owners Club brushes I've got wooden handles and I've never really liked wood on handles for weight shaving. This one's like an acrylic resin I think and I think it looks spot on. You can see that. Oh, do you know what it says down here? Special edition Owners Club 2012. What an idiot. You can see the shine on there, what it is. Oh, it smells lovely and limey now. Rockwell 6C. Outstanding little razor. Plate 2 is probably just just a little bit on the mild side for me but I tell you what, I've got a lovely close shave and I've got no irritation. That's the main thing. So plate 2 works perfectly fine for me as well for an everyday shave. Plate 3 is probably just a little bit more efficient. I'll probably, I mean I am close, really close, but I think plate 3 would just give me that a little bit closer because I don't go against the grain, so just to get that closer shave. Humphreys Original with essential oil, which is all floaty back up the top. Lime essential oil. Lime's one of my favourite scents on the planet. And we'll finish off today with some Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime after shave balm. Good squirt of that. And the scent on this is it's even better than Mike's line, really. The scent on this El Bado product, the Royal Tahitian line. You've got mint, lime, orange, lemon. Oh, and it, I mean, that has, that's absorbed now. It's just leaving a this is more, it's not like the, the Wickham balm that I use, it doesn't leave a, a satin sort of smooth finish on your skin. It leaves your skin feeling moisturised, but with that, I mean it's that's completely absorbed, there's no re residue on my skin there, nothing. But it, it's more, it's not that sat when you pull your hands down, it's just silky smooth, it's still got that moisture feel on it. But that is a stupendous shave really happy with that anyway guys thanks very much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did it is sunday i'm back to work tomorrow i've got quite a fair bit of work my business partner's wife was in a serious car accident yesterday and has broken her wrist and bruised and pretty bad up apparently and the car's been written off so thankfully she's okay and she's a driving instructor so her car's been written off she can't drive now so it's going to be a little bit of struggle street for them now so they'll get through it and like I say, the best thing that's come out of it is that she's still with us and there's nothing, no one's been injured to the point of being disabled or or loss of life or anything like that. So we're over the moon with that, in a sense. You know, it's still shitty, but these things happen. It's just you've got to take the best out of it as you can. Other than that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.